And we are out here actually in Atlantic Beach, uh, out here at, at a residence home where we were having a political fundraiser this evening for Mike Borno, who is actually going to be running for mayor of Atlantic Beach, and John Meserve, who is the current mayor of Atlantic Beach that will now be running for the city council seat that will be being vacated by Mr. Art Graham here. Thank you for joining me today in this interview. Thank you. I, I enjoy it. Well, um, and of course, with the passing of Senator Jim King, it sort of put a lot of things into motion, and we now know that you will be actually running for that seat that the late uh, Senator Jim King actually uh, had filled. That is correct. I've been uh, actually gearing up for this seat for about the past year or so. It's unfortunate, that, you know, his untimely passing. Um, he was a great, uh, he, he was a, a legislator's legislator. He was a great guy that brought people together, got things done, and he did a lot for Northeast Florida, and he will truly be missed. Yes, uh, definitely. I mean, he was, he was a very, very great man here that served our, our area. Now, I do want to ask you, uh, you, and I'm sure you've probably heard in the current, you're on the city council, um, there was a vote about the property taxes. Um, what, what, how do you feel about that? Well, I thought the uh, the council voted as as the constituents wanted. I I can tell you because I've been on the campaign trail for about the past year, knocking on doors and you know getting a pretty good feel for uh, what the voters were feeling. And you know, and my biggest concern was we're in one of the biggest recessions that most of us have ever seen in our lifetime. And this is you know people are just barely keeping their head above water. This is right. not the time you want to throw more of a financial load on their back. Okay. Well, now as you move from maybe a councilman to a senator here in our era, state senator, how do you think, how will you be able to handle that? What are you going to be planning to do for Northeast Florida and how to help the citizens out? I think the simple thing is you just need to bring common sense back to government. I mean, there's a lot of things that are out there that are just kind of foolish, and you just need to make sure that you're doing the right things. I mean, I, I completely believe in home rule. Mm -hmm. I think the best government is closest to your front door, mm -hmm. and I think that's one of the places where we just go wrong. We go astray. Mm -hmm. And um, I, that's pretty much been my focus. I, you know, I'm an engineer by trade, and I've been a problem solver, and I think we just need to make sure we're doing the correct things. Mm -hmm. And you are, you're out here actually tonight for the event for Mike Borno and John Meserve. Uh, what sort of events will you be having in the near future for your campaign for senator? Well, we're kind of in the, under the gun right now. It's about 55, 45 days mm -hmm. uh, before, I'm sorry, 55 to 54 days mm -hmm. before uh, the primary. Okay. And uh, so right now it's it's running gun time. We're trying to do a couple little fundraisers. We're doing a lot of little meet and greets. Mm -hmm. And then we're just out there just trying to knock on doors and get in front of as many constituents as we can mm -hmm. and, you know, and let them know who we are and ask them for the votes. I mean, it's it's very short window, but mm -hmm. we just got to run hard and run fast. Okay, well, thank you so much for taking time in this interview, and thank you for your services, the Jacksonville Councilman. Thank, thank you. you.